Alright boys and girls, so we are here going to port some uh, intake manifolds. We had to weld them up. They're uh, just a little big for the uh, flange we got here. We welded them. We didn't go crazy up here because you can't get up there with the size cutters I got. These things are only about two inches long. And on this side here too, I want to give you guys a word of caution. See how much space is there? Yes, you can fill this all up with weld, but then you'll never get a nut on it. So, when you're porting this in this general area where my thumb is, all right, you're not going to try and go all the way to the line all the way up. What you want to do is maybe make it to the line here at the bottom, but you're going to have to taper it in. If not, you will cut through. So that one was pretty good. I went a little extra crazy on this one, I don't know, uh, mostly because when I welded it, I did not have the gasket, so I just kept going until it stopped, <laughs> until I stopped myself. So anyways, we're going to try and use that. We're going to test out some uh, Harbor Freight little cutters here that we got, and uh, we'll see how this all works. It's pretty simple. You uh, cut your gasket to the port, lay your gasket up here, put something on here. You could use Dicom or you machinist die. You could use what we're using here is just a good old Sharpie marker, and you scribe a line with something sharp, and as you can see, there's a line here, all right, and then we try and mate to that without going over the line. You want your manifold smaller than the head. If you're going to do anything on air, make the manifold smaller than the head. It's better to have the port bigger than the actual intake manifold. So if this was the head, it'd be better for the this port to be bigger than the manifold, all right, if I can try and express that enough. Anyways. We're going to get going to it when we find a place to put the camera. There's the end product. Pretty much up to the line. About an inch and a half, almost two inches in. There's a little bit of porosity in that manifold there, but they don't, does not go through. That's that one. This is this one. Pretty good. These new cutters I got, they grab. Grab pretty hard. But we didn't break through on the sides. Kept plenty of meat there. Lots of meat on that one. Buffed it out through in there. Didn't really do much with that. Not much I can get done in there. But that's boarding, match porting your manifolds. Basically, you're just trying to gasket match the intake and the head together. Um, if you're going to do like a basic port job, the paper gaskets that you buy are usually larger than the head and end cast. So you need to match them up, you know. That's usually what I go to for like a streetcar mild, mild motor is just the uh, paper gasket size, open them up to about that and match them. Anyways, boys and girls, don't forget to like and subscribe. These are going back to John. Finally got them welded up. And uh, he's going to put this to rest together. So that will be that project. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And if you subscribe, hit the bell because you won't get notifications if you don't. So I'll see you guys later. Get out there and work on your projects. Let's get these cars going again.